Hello friends and welcome to another Up For Adventure vlog from Epcot. We're going to do the flowering garden. Actually, this is the first week, that's first weekend. So we're gonna show you some cool topiaries as well as some good treats. So let's go do it. So something we always recommend, definitely get, is your festival passport, which is right here, because it's Flower and Garden. It'll tell you all the places that you want to go to eat. And if you want to do the little garden graze, the little thing they have, do that too. Now, we're going to opt not to do the garden graze. Basically, what it is, is going around different booths, and you get yourself stamped with some of these various treats. We're going to get some of them, because they look delicious. And then at the end, you get the festival treats. Pineapple promenade. And here we have the community garden. This is a favorite. Donald doing his gardening. And over by Mission. Well, yeah, over by Mission uh, Space as well as Guardians, we've got Groot. And here's a cool, steadfast one here at Flower and Garden. And here's the prehistoric plants. Well, as long as they've been growing, I would think they wouldn't be prehistoric anymore, huh? Here every year. Now, these guys are usually into the entrance into the showcase, but not this year. They're over by the um, test track. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. You figure out which one is which. I'm not sure. And over here, Keegan moves just a sec. Brunch cot. Brunch cot. We have some of our favorites, the avocado toast. We're going to pass on the biscuits and gravy. Maybe the fried cinnamon roll bites. And then the Fruit Loop Shake, which is surprisingly pretty doggone good. All right, and here's the avocado toast, cinnamon bites, and Fruit Loop Shake, and ducks. All right, Fruit Loop Shape. Hey, thumbs up. Cinnamon Bites and A-OK. -okay. I think the uh, avocado toast is gonna be you guys. Although it, was good, although it was good last time, I didn't care for the flowers, but it was good. And uh, so the cinnamon uh, bites were good. And I'm gonna have a little bit of the uh, Fruit Loop Shake. It was good too. Well, it was good. So I think those bites were excellent again. You haven't had any yet. Avocado toast, same. Delicious. Delicious. And uh, again, the uh, Fruit Loop Shake. Surprising. Surprisingly good. It's like a nice place to show the concerts. 5, 36, 45, and 8. Farmer's Feast. I think we're going to get the Grill Street Corn. We got that last year. And the strawberry rhubarb upside down cake. How cool, how good does that look? Oh, I can't see it. Sounds good. All right, so we passed on the uh, grilled corn on the cob for the strawberry rhubarb upside down cake. I want to say pineapple, but there's no pineapple in it. All right, first shot. I love strawberry rhubarb. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. Nice, warm, little side of um, whipped cream. Oh my gosh, look, that's a definite must. Strawberry rhubarb upside down cake. Awesome. I have to say, no one in my life has ever done rhubarb, especially strawberry rhubarb, like my granny. 
who's in heaven right now, but this reminds me of something she would have made. It's delicious. Forgive me if I've got rhubarb all over my face, but that was delicious. That is a definite must here, Flower Garden. Wow. Can't wait to see what else they got. So they do have a play area. I won't show it all because there's kids in there, but they do have a little play area that kids can go and what chill. It's called the Camp Get Out and Play Garden, presented by Off. It's not all about just the topiaries. They do have some really very pretty flower displays, too. famous Purple Martins have their own private little home here at Epcot. So as the name implies, fragrance sniff, and it smells good. So not only smells good, beautiful view. Also take some time just to appreciate some of the floating flowers or floating bushes, power, flower pots, I guess. Again, just a beautiful panoramic view here. The Encanto family. How cute, just outside of uh, Mexico. How cute are these mini orange birds? Love it. All right, so this is a cool thing we did last year, the tropical rainforest. Try to get a wide angle shot of this, because it's pretty in here. And we got the trolls. That's pretty, I saw that up there. The flowers on the roof. All right. So depending on which number of Frozen you're on, Queen and Princess or Queen and Queen, Anna and Elsa. And at the Lotus House, Mama likes the, or Breezy likes the mango bubble tea. All right, mango bubble tea. Is it good? Yes, sir. Thumbs up. Very sweet, she said. It's sweet. Sugar Rush. So whenever I see this display, I just totally think about Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off. So this garden was famous for the pandas and how cute they are. 
and they've got them again this year, and boy, are they adorable. Be an Epcot festival without the bird merch, orange bird, clown fly. And yeah, for a little cooler day, spirit jerseys. That's very decorative. <laughs> Very bright orange cups. Now that's cute. I think we've seen that before though. You on the back? Nope. This well, International Flower Garden. 2024. Always got some cute ears. Honey, I need my eggs. Can't do without your magnets. Oh, a pin, sorry. And what is this, like a keychain? Christmas oh, Christmas ornament. I looks like a keychain. That is cute. Plushes. So, step closer because there's so much space and it's for free, you know? So, just. And this has been a tradition here. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Name them all. How cute are these? And little miniature gnomes. And a big garden. How cool. Lady and the Tramp in Italy. So the Magnolia Terrace, I think we're by the spicy chicken gumbo. Maybe banana foster bread? How pretty is Tiana? All right, and from the American Pavilion, panini, bread, and spicy chicken gumbo. So one of the things we missed, but we can't make up our mind whether it was the Festival of Arts or whether it was Flower and Garden, but the three sipping chocolates are not here. I don't think they were at the Flower and, or uh, the Festival of Arts either, so Christmas, who knows? Food and wine, who knows? And now this looks delicious, banana foster pudding, bread, sorry, bread pudding, reverse order. Breezy's going to get the first bite. Are you saying no to dessert? My son? Saying no to dessert? Good. Mama said, mm hmm. All right, here's my. Whoa. Trying to do this one handed while vlogging. All right, here's my first hit. Good, but I think still strawberry rhubarb upside down. Yeah. Got it. So we have determined that the Sipping Chocolates was Festival of the Arts, but they still didn't have it. So didn't matter what festival you went to, you weren't getting white chocolate, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate. So we're gonna make it our own, at home. And from Japan, the dragon.
and some more bonsai trees here from the Japan Pavilion. Alright, we're gonna pass from the Japan, but the first she was good last year, steam bun. How cute. Now these guys used to be over in France, but now they're here. And of course, always beautiful. How cute. Love it. I know, it's moving. And I think we're gonna skip France, but here's just a little bit of what they showcase. All right. Now, I would just say as a recommendation, we're going based upon last year, I'd pass on the beignet caramelized creme vanille. I go for the strawberry uh, rhubarb, hands down. And what a nice view of the world showcase. All right, so we're making our way around the showcase. We're over here in UK, just saw Tinkerbell and her fairy little village, and we're gonna see Pooh Bear, T Tigger, as well as who else we can find as our hunt for the topiaries continues. Not a part of the topiaries, but real live ducks. All right, tea, anyone? English tea garden. Now, usually we can find Mary Poppins is over here sometimes. Well, there's Alice. Speak of the devil. Nutty chocolate. Not even try. Assam? Sounds good to me. Nutty chocolate Assam. And how cute. We found Pooh and Rabbit. Eeyore. That's your favorite, isn't it, Mama? And Piglet, too. I didn't even see Piglet on top of there. Now, if you just saw this, and you said tick, talk, you know, the Captain Hook cannot be far behind. And Peter, too. Pizza? Pizza Pan? Always gotta say that. Canada has such a lovely pavilion. It truly does. It's very beautiful back here. How cute. I remember this in prior years. This has got to be new, huh? I don't remember this. Oh, yeah. I was just saying Canada has such a beautiful pavilion. So I think we're going to pass at the Cana Can Canadian, the Canadian booth, Northern Bloom. 
of the Choco Maple Whiskey Cake looks good. Oh, and how cute a Bambi. How cute. So the Honey Bistro always has some good stuff. And if you're feeling like chicken and waffles, honey glazed cauliflower. And some other beverage. Uh, the Honey Peach Cobbler Freeze sounds good, uh, guys. And here's some of the cool Q decor, whatever you want to say, at the Honey Bee Bistro. And they're also giving out Honey Bee Headbands. Honey Bee Headbands. You're going to wear it. Oh, and how cool. Goofster. I got a shot from the other way, but let's get it from this way. Beautiful. It does smell so good. I don't think that's pumped in smell. That's flower smell. Lion King and Kumba and Timon. Couple wiggling. And this is from the motion picture. Wish. All right, friends, that'll do it. Festival of Flower and Garden. <laughs> I said Festival of the Arts. Flower and Garden. Uh, you saw everything we got was basically about $45. You can definitely do this reasonably. You know, kind of get what you want to get. I mean, you don't have to actually have a full-blown meal. So, and enjoy the uh, topiar topiaries to boot, to boot. So, we love Flower and Garden, one of the cool festivals here at Epcot. So, that said, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're up for adventure, and as we always say, onward to our next adventure. Thanks for watching.